Hey guys, recently we lost nine lives in a helicopter crash. That happened about 500 yards up the hill from where I used to live. Those trails that the helicopter crashed on, I, I hiked all the time when I was living there. Kobe was like an idol. You know, he, he was my idol. And not just me, but many others, and I'm sure many of you loved him dearly. You know, he was a great basketball player. You know, to me, he's the GOAT. Not only that, but he's kind of like the GOAT um, when it comes to being off the court as well. And we lost him. And uh, yeah, it was kind of pretty hard on me. Still is when I talk about it, but... <clears throat> yeah. You know, you watch someone your whole life and... And he's just gone, you know, it's just hard. I don't like calling myself an idol to anybody. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm just, I, you know, I'm me, I'm Jeremy. I, I like to, I, I, I'm a guy that fishes, surfs, have fun and play golf and make films and, uh, and do what I love. Even idols have an idol. And Kobe Bryant was a lot of idols idol, you know? I mean, people would go to the Staples Center and watch that guy play basketball, like Tom Brady's and I guess the Mahomes of the day, you know, all the people who would just, they would go and watch Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant put a mark on this world and his daughter was on her way to do the exact same thing. Billions of people around the world knew and loved and, and just felt like when you watch that guy or when you hear him talk, you just, you felt like you knew him. It was someone that you felt real close with, like a friend, a family member. It's like you couldn't help but feel that when you watched the guy. The mama mentality will live on forever because you know, that'll never die. It's like you gotta have that mama mentality with anything you do. The mama mentality is about attacking. Whatever it is that's ahead of you, attack it. I'm not talking about go out there and beat someone up. I'm talking your goals, your, the things you want in life. It's like a setting a goal and reaching that goal. Well, attack it as if you were a mamba. The mama mentality is actually in all of us, and it's that instinct. Whatever it is that you want, and you want to accomplish, what you want to become, have that mamba mentality and go after it. It's hard, it's work, but you know what? If anyone does it and puts that work in, they can do it. I can't believe how fast 20 years went by, man, this is crazy. To be standing here at center court with you guys, my teammates behind me, and uh, appreciating all this, you know, the journey that we've been on. You know, we've been through our ups and been through our downs. I think the most important part is that we all stayed together throughout. And I'm more proud, I'm more proud of the fact that not about the championships, but about the down years. Because we didn't run. We didn't run. We played through all that stuff and we got our championships and we did it the right way. You guys will always be in my heart and uh, I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. No words can describe how I feel about you guys. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, God, I love you guys. And. Uh, I love you guys, and my family, to my family, my wife Vanessa, our daughters Natalia and Gianna, you know, thank you guys for all your sacrifice, you know, for all the hours I spent in the gym working and training, and Vanessa, you holding down the family the way that you have, I, I, I can't, there's no way that I can thank you enough for that. What can I say? Mamba out. The life that we have, it's, you know, it's, we're only here for so long before we go up there. How do you want to spend your life down here? Kobe spent his life down here <laughs> beyond what a lot of people can say. Uh, he lived two lifetimes. He's with his daughter and, uh, you know, Kobe put a show on down here and, you know, you know, damn well he's up there putting a show up there for them too. So, hey, um, anyway, yeah, now you know what it was like for me, losing Kobe Bryant.